welcome back to Dark Souls Remastered. Now comes the fun part of running. We gotta choose a run from the dragon, which is a difficult thing. I can do it. We can try that first. It's against us another bonfire. Well, here's a, here's kind of a kind of a cheaty doodle way of doing things. So you come up here. You always get 555 souls, no matter what. If you're hiding in this corner, this dragon's gonna get agitated. We're gonna be booking it at that point. kind of hard it all depends all right so there's claymore and there's Zoy handler so they're both a little bit different although i want to say i'll say claymore is a little better i think i'm probably gonna just stick with claymore that dragon's not gonna come back right away so a soul of a nameless soldier which provides quite a few souls um it's not the most amount of souls but if you have also if you come up to the statue and you have about 20 20 or 25 faith i can't remember which one you'll get inducted into the golden war the sun bros covenant which i don't care about for this round <coughs> We're not going for the sun bros. Oh yeah, let's see if we can level up a little bit. Oh, we can get one. Uh, actually, let's see how many does it take for next one. 1,160, I believe we can get that with the uh, Solve the Name of Soldier. Oh, we're so close. I'm gonna go fight these guys. of all. Okay, I'm going to show you guys something. Uh, something I didn't... My microphone a little closer. Something I did not um, mention in previous videos. Like I said, I was feeling like crap the last couple times I talked. So, I apologize for that. Um, but... We're gonna use some of those humanity things. Now we can, we only can use about two at the moment for what we're gonna do. So, regular fire will provide us a five Estus. Now we reverse the, our hollowing, making us human again. And we're kindled. We can only kindle it up one more time so we get up to 10 Estus per at a certain bonfire. You have to use it every bonfire. You can go up to 20, but only with the right of kindling, which a boss holds. We're not strong. I, we can fight him, but it's extremely hard. So I prefer to wait a while. Now this comes another running sequence. Cause that boar will kick your butt. Drop the gate. Oh, 
Oh, why do I have him drop the gate? We can get a basement key. Well, we'll leave it then. Because we're going to do some more running. This is to get to another bonfire, which we're going to be stationed at for a little while at least. Holds a very powerful and very personal NPC. A very cool NPC. Cut through here. And go down the stairs on our left. Those guys will still be chasing us. That's perfectly fine. Rest of the bonfire, reset their positions, and goodbye. So, we're going to come down here. We're going to talk to Andre. Well, you must be a new arrival. I'm Andre of Astora. If you require smithing, then speak to me. Now, he will modify our equipment, which will, if it's like a plus five, he'll ascend it to a plus six. If it's a plus 10, he'll extend it to plus 11. Or to a lightning weapon, fire weapon, whatever we may have. We give him a certain coal, he'll do it. And he'll also reinforce our weapons if we have the right items. Like a Titanite Shard, he'll upgrade it to a Claymore plus 1. We can learn the gesture. Hurrah! Things we can purchase are Titanite Shards. Which are used for upgrading to a plus 5. Weapons toolbox so we can do it ourselves. Armor smith box so we can do it ourselves. Repair box so we can do it ourselves. Cresseratorius, which we need 20,000 souls for. Which is at least for a, whole, a smaller part of the game that you still need to go to. You can get longsword, broadsword, bastard sword, battle axe, war picks, K Katus, Kastus, Pike, Large Leather Shield, Tower Shield, and K Katus Shield. So, well, actually, I do want to talk to you, my friend. I'm going to purchase one Titanite Shard for 800 souls. I'm going to reinforce my Claymore to plus one. So now we have a Claymore plus one. Press the bonfire again. You know what? I am actually going to make this one a kindled bonfire. Remember I said you had to do it at each bonfire. And that door we're going to be going through very soon. Kind of, sort of. But today we're going to be fighting the gargoyles. And I need to be human to do this so I can summon our buddies to Lair to give us a hand. Not saying we couldn't do it on our own, but it's preferable to have them around as mainly a distraction. Let's go with that. But there's a, it's a little bit ways up there, so. There's a powerful entity up here, which we'll probably have to fight and then go back and heal. from him and we get a firekeeper soul now there's two uses you can use that for one you give it to the firekeeper and fire like shrine and she'll reinforce your estus flask to where each fill up uh, each use of estus will actually do heal you more or you can use it right as it is and get five humanity now in the old dark souls 
prepare to die edition, you're, there was a way to cheese it to where you could get infinite humanity. <laughs> and infinite souls, really, if you're patient enough. But it all depends on how patient you are. It's a really cool glitch that they patched out of this version of the game, unfortunately. Plus two Claymore. Alright. So I got plus two weapon to fight off the bat. <laughs> Alright, so let's go up and try and fight uh, Gargoyles. It shouldn't be that hard. Broke through his uh, poise right away. Let's head on up. And this is a boulder knight. They're dicks. Oh. I hate Balder Knights. In the beginning of the game, they're such a pain in the butt. Now this part's gonna hurt. Because there's a guy called the Channeler up here, and he's a douchebag. He's gonna soup up all these little guys. So they do way more damage. I got them. Now for this guy. Come here. Oh, he will never come back. The Chandler will never come back. Minions will, so... I'm okay with that. Come over here. Look at the large soul of a nameless soldier. Now we can't go up there and free Lotric. Oh, he can be helpful. I wasn't expecting him to be that fast. That easy. Excuse me. I sneezed. Oh, I just heard water. <laughs> My wife sneezed behind me. I didn't understand what was going on. I heard the water. What the heck is going on back there? I figure she's dying or something. Then I am in luck. Could you help? Now we're going to open this up and let our friend free. Thank you. Yes. Sincerely. I am Knight Lautrec of Cavillon. I truly appreciate this. And I guarantee a reward. Only later. Okay, so he's free. We're cool. Now Lautrec has some... 
things happen later, but I'm not going to disclose them. All depends on what kind of mood you're in. Got a humanity. <laughs> Trust me, if you're good enough, you can stack humanity. You'll never have to worry about it. I mean, I started as a, what was it? Um, oh, we'll get the pyromancy teacher soon. Sorry, random thought. But, um, the other character I was using, I had him as, um, oh, one of those guys that says, like, moderate stats. I forget what they're called. But, uh, well, it starts with a club. And, like, no clothes. Night Solar. <coughs> Hurrah! Hello, Solar, my friend. All right, let's do this. Stupid dogs are off on again. Barking at nothing. Sorry if it bothers you. They go off on tangents barking at nothing about several times a day. I know they're trying to protect us. That's why I never get mad at them. And this is Gargoyle. Well. Got the tail axe right off the bat. I'm going to apply gold pine resin. And now comes a second gargoyle. The second when they get the 50% health they can uh, have a chance to use this. Oh. Fire breath. And he's using lightning spear, which is an OP attack in the first game here. And gargoyles are down. When you have used lightning infused weapons, it's OP is all get out. Oh, let me use the bow. Let me bow. Good job, Solar, and thank you, my friend. All right, so now we gotta go up and ring the bell. One of two bells to open Sen's Fortress. And get to the other part of the game. Well, other two thirds of the game. There is one part of the game you will see me rage really hard. And that's uh, against this first Silver Knights of Honor Londo, which it's much later on, but you'll see me rage. Or you'll hear me raise at least. Succeeds in that part. Uh, as I have stated before, please do not take anything as, that I do as a professional playing. I just happen to know what I'm doing when I'm playing the game. I know it by no means a professional. If you want a professional, go see um, Elijah or Logos Jr. or Chase the Bro. Those guys are professionals. And we got this guy here. Greetings. Out 
Basically, if you've been invaded by a guy you think is a hacker or did unfair combat, you can report them. Uh, if you have done something wrong in the game, you can uh, request absolution. You can abandon confidence. I learned it. Well, what is it? Achievement. You get purging stones for half the cost of what it takes to buy from the lady from another lady. Indictment, report trespasses of invader, homeward bones, book of the guilty, karmic justice, which is a miracle, uh, temporary auto counter versus heavy damage, her talisman, Belka's talisman, and two rings, bleeding. Uh, ring of sacrifice, or you can get the poison bite ring, which gives you a bit more resistance against poison. Not a lot, really. There's not super many instances for poison to get you. But I am going to buy. How many do I have? I have seven. I'll take three. And I will use one of them right now. Instead of having to climb all the way back down when there's nothing for me to really pick up. I'll just come back here. Now let's do some more upgrading. So I need two Titanite charts. Gosh darn it. I clicked the wrong thing. I need two more Titanite shards. And now I need three. And now it's under the mother. Now I can't do anything with it until I get the large ember, which ascends weapons past level five. And a pop up strength, a couple more. And we're going to call that good. Because now we need to go into the lower undead burg, which is a real pain in the butt to get to. So I'll see you guys next time. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you leave a like and do share, and I'll see you next time.